Hello everyone, I am Devendra Yadav. I work as a lead SQ engineer for BMC Software. In this video, I am going to talk about some of the integrations which are done between BMC Remedy and TrueSight. First integration, I will talk about uh, TrueSight and CMDB integration. We will go through the concepts, configuration and demo. In the second part, I will cover the TrueSight and ITSM integration. Again, we will go through the concept of this integration, configuration and demo. The key concept of this integration is publishing uh, service models from CMDB to TrueSight. TrueSight has capability to monitor all the devices, but if it just tells which device is performing good, which device is performing well, that adds a value. But once it gets a service model from CMDB, it start telling which are business services are getting impacted because of impacted devices. So it gives a bigger picture than individual devices. It, it starts telling which your business services are impacting, how your business will get impacted. To achieve this integration, you need to do two configuration. First one is you need to install BPPM extension for CMDB on, on all your Remedy servers. What it does, it installs some of the plugins, it uh, extends some of the CMDB classes, it creates some of the custom classes so, so that CMDB can interact with the TrueSight. The second one is enabling uh, kind of these integrations from TrueSight console. To enable TrueSight and CMDB integration, uh, log into TrueSight operational management console. From operational console, uh, open the options, go in administration section. Here you will get an option to integrate with other BMC products, edit it and uh, select the AR server CMDB integrations, fill all the details, AR server, host name, port, user, password and all the UDDI details and click on apply after you will get a, a result window where you can see the status of your integration it should be successful so once this integration is done successfully you you are ready to publish your cmdb service models to truesight to publish a service model from cmdb to truesight you need to go in atrium core console here in applications you can find impact model designer so in impact model designer you can build your own service model or if you have already built any service model you can use that to publish in truesight so I have already built a service model which I'll bring here in. So I'll go in a sandbox data set so that I can edit my service model. So now I'll edit my business service to set a publication option for this. Okay. I'll set yes and propagate which means uh, this service will be published as well as the CIs which are impacting it will also get published. Now I'll promote uh, my changes sandbox changes promotion is done so on successful promotion publication is automatically triggered so as my promotion is done these CIs are applicable for the publication and as we have uh, only one service model published it might have already reached in TrueSight console so we'll just go and uh, check it here in TrueSight console so here we can see the service model we, we just published. So complete service model is now available in TrueSight which it can utilize to monitor and show the correct impact on business services. Concept of this integration is when there is an event in TrueSight for any device there should be a corresponding incident created in ITSM and if that device is impacting any business service then a corresponding incident for business service should also get created so that uh, events are converted into the tickets and someone can work on them. All these calls are done via web service so this integration can be leveraged in on-demand kind of environment as well. To achieve this integration you need to install BSR patch. 
if you are using latest ITSM and TrueSight releases, then it is out of the box available. You need to enable this integration from TSIM console and you need to configure policies for your needs for what kind of event you want a ticket to be generated. All those policies you, you need to define. To enable BSR integration, log into TrueSight Operational Management Console and go to Options, go to Administration section, edit the BMC product integration, select Service Desk integration and provide AR server and your mid-tier server details. Mid-tier server details are required because now these calls are going to happen via web service. Click Apply. Here on Result window, all the items should be successful. To demo this site and ITSM integration, I'll manually generate an event for one of the server and we'll see how ticketing takes place. So here I'll pass the component ID of that server. Now we can see this service is also impacted because of that server. So let's take a look at the service model. Yeah, this server has got a critical event and that got propagated to top level service. Now we'll go and check how events are there. Okay, so here we can see three incident got created. One is for the infrastructure event which that app server 01 has received. Second one is the casual incident for that app server 01. And the third one is for the impacted business service which is the social business service. So these incident got created based upon the policy defined in TrueSight. So I'm using the out of the box policy which is there for critical events you can update the policies and change the behavior of incident creation now we'll go in itsm system and we'll check this incident okay so we'll do some changes here and we'll see if the updates are going in that event i'll assign this ticket to me okay now we'll go in true site console and we'll refresh the details here you can see the assignment has been changed now we'll go to again ITSM console and we'll just add some node. Now we'll see if this is being updated here. It has came here. So you can see the communication is happening. Whatever I'm changing in ticket automatically being updated in TrueSight.